Hello guys, welcome back to Flow James channel. So today we are going to be making a female shirt, like a very stylish female shirt. I got this inspiration in my head. I was like, okay, let me just bring it to reality and see how it goes. So I got a client that ordered for a shirt for me and I decided to bring out this stylish shirt for her and I think that day she really loved it so much. So now let's get started. Oh, let's start by cutting the front of the shirt. We start by taking our crouch length, so as you can see. Our crouch length is 12. So this is 12. So from here downwards, I measure 12. So I'm going to be connecting the lines like this. So after connecting the line, we're going to be going upwards with two and a half inch. Going upwards with two and a half inch to get our hip line. So this is our hip line. Hope you guys can see properly. This is our hip line. So what we're going to be doing next is to impute our crotch measurement, that is a tie measurement. So we're going to impute our tie measurement here. Plus one inch. So now this is a tie measurement plus one inch. So we're going to be imputing our hip measurement here. Our hip measurement. In the same measurement everywhere upwards and also on the tie measurement so what we have here is 10 so that's the line one inch to get our curve we're going to be imputing our waist measurement from here downwards for our waist and also one inch for our sewing allowance. One inch for that, one inch for our allowance. So that's two inches. So that's two inches. So what I'm going to be doing next, now I'm going to be connecting this line to meet this line. It's been held down now. So now let's impute our darts. Your um, nipple to nipple divided by two, then half an inch on both sides. Length, like I always tell you, I always use for my darts, I love using centimeters. I'm going to be using 10 centimeters for the length of my darts. And I connect the lines. So we are going to be measuring, taking the full measurement of what we have here, divided by 2. So I'm going to repeat the same measurement down here. So what we have as half, we have 7.1. So we're going to repeat 7.1 down here to get the midpoint. Was on our tie part, like the, okay, the wideness of our shirt, we are going to be using 26 for the wideness. So 26 divided by 2, we give it 13. So we cannot just impute 30 inches like this. So we're going to be dividing 30 inches divided by 2. You're going to give us 6.5. So measure 6.5 here and 6.5 here. Cut it out. First, not forget. For the front, we're going to be coming down 1.5 inches. So, guys, what I did was I came down with 1.5 inches, like this, as you can see, 1.5, and I drew a slant line from here to meet up with this point. So now, as so we're about cutting out the part we don't need. We are not going to be touching here until we are done cutting for the back. Okay. So now let's cut out all the parts. We don't need at the moment for this shot thank you guys for subscribing liking sharing and also commenting on my videos if it's your first time on my youtube channel welcome and i hope this wouldn't be your last stay tuned and watch wonderful diy videos from me and if you have always been here supporting my channel 
Thank you so much, Yadi V V I P. Okay, so we need one each upper here. So I'm going to be placing it together. So now let's pin everything together. This crouch line with two and a half inches that's 2.5. I'm going to be rolling the line two inches here. Two inches here. We are just going to connect in the line. So we are going to be extending this line with one. We have one already, as you can see. So we are going to be. So now we are going to be adding the waist measurement. We are going to be taking it in a slant manner. Our waist is six point five. So I'm going to be taking six point five like this. So you see what I'm doing is it's slanty. It's not straight. After imputing your right waist measurement, you add extra three inches. So now these three inches, and I'm going to be connecting this line to meet with this. You can see I've connected this line. So now I'm going to be curving it, okay? This same curve I did here, I'm not going to drain a curve here. Also. Okay, so now we're done. So before we're going to start cutting out anything now, let's slant this line first. Okay, slant it. So now before um, you are going to start cutting out anything from here, we are going to be calculating to know if what we measured was correct or not, okay? So now let's start by measuring what we have from here to here. And I just want to make a calculation here. So let's measure from here to here and see what we have. We have 10.3. 10.3 so now what do we have from the back you place it here through here to here we have 13.6 we have 13.6 this is times 2 this is times 2 let's see what we have we have times 2 together the first part of the um, short piece which is here to here I got 10.3 times 2, I got 20.6. Then the second is from here to here, I got 13.6 times 2, I got 27.2. So I'm going to be plusing this plus this together. 20.6 plus 27.2. So now I got 47.8. So what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be bringing this 47.8. Minus my hip measurement. My hip is 41. Okay, we have 6.8. So these are our measurement now 6.8. And we are on the safe side. We are on the safe side right now. As me, I got 6 inches. We are still fine. If we got 7, we are still fine. But if we get lesser than 6, maybe 5.954, meaning you are not on the safe side at all, meaning you have any problem. So what you are supposed to do next, if you know you have lesser than 6, you are going to be extending this line. What you do, you just extend it upwards, okay? Extend it upwards until you get the right measurement, until 6 or 6 point or 7. Hope you understand me. Look at it properly, what I did.
So now guys, we're going to try and be creative here today. Very stylish. I want the front to be looking very stylish in a way. So what I did was I folded another fabric, as you can see, it's into two. I just folded it and 14.5 and the other way is 16 okay so what i'm going to be doing now is that i'm going to be placing it as you can see starting from this one inch here i'm using the part that is very long the part that is 16 that's the part i placed here so it'll be very long i want it to be i want it to, i want to attach it through to the back like after attaching the full shot i'm going to be sewing it around from the front to the back okay so now look at it here i place it here mm -hmm. then i also slant it as you can see slanted or i'll slant it more I'll stand it more, as you can see, okay? So I'm going to be holding it down with my pin. So now I'm going to be measuring five inches. Okay guys, as you can see, we have the two pieces for the front, this one, this is another one. So I'm going to be sewing the darts now, this darts here. As you can see, I created a notch. There's a notch here, as you can see. So I'm going to be running the darts here, the darts here. So after joining the darts together, I'm going to be placing the bolts. Okay. So after joining the darts for the front, I'm also going to be joining the darts for the back, these two pieces for the back. That's here. And I'm also going to be joining the darts here for the back and I'll bring it for you guys to see. As you can see, I'm done sewing the darts for the front. It's also for the front. I'm done sewing all the darts for the back and the front. As you can see, it's pressed. As you can see, it's pressed. It's pressed down so now I took this one of the back one of the back and this is one of the front so I'm going to be placing it together like this as you can see place it here so what I'm going to be I'm going to run it from here down with half an inch to the ending and I'm also going to be doing it for the second piece okay Okay, as you can see, I've joined the front and the back together. So I've joined it and I also pressed it. So I did it for the boat, the boat piece, as you can see. So what I'm going to be doing now is to be placing it on top of each other like this. Right side facing the right side. Just like this. So the next thing to do now is this is the front and that is the back so now i'm going to be sewing for the front like this with half an inch just like this and i'm going to be bringing it for you guys to see so guys i've joined it you can see i've joined it with half an inch i've joined it i don't know how to place it for you guys to see well so I've joined in now with half an inch. So now what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be measuring the waist. I'm going to be measuring the waist, okay? To get the waist measurements. After this half an inch here, you measure, okay? This, this for our waist, as you can see, for the waist. I don't know if you can see it properly. 
for the waist. So no matter the allowance you have here, it doesn't matter. It's even better you having enough as allowance here than not having at all, you understand? So I'm going to be curving here. I'm going to be curving here to meet this point. As you can see, I've curved it. So now I'm going to be stitching it from here like this to meet this point. I've stitched it, as you can see. I've stitched it. Okay, so the next thing to do now, we're going to be joining our crouch together. So this is the shot. This is the shirt, so I'm going to be joining our crouch together now for the front and the back. So I'm going to be taking this part of the crouch and also this part of the crouch, put it together like this, stitch here and stitch here. As you can see, I've joined the crouch part together. So now we are going to be working on this stuff that we cut out. Okay. So now I have four pieces, these two and these two. These are the shots to be placed here like this. can see it be placed like this okay as you can see I'm done with it and I've pressed it as you can see I'm done so I'm going to be placing it now at the front of the child or at the front of the shirt this is the front of the shirt so I'm going to be placing it like this this other side I'm going to be placing it like this as you can see I'm going to be starting it from here maybe just leave like half an inch from here and so true like this through to the back okay also on the other side okay now guys I fixed it as you can see As you can see, this is the shirt and this is the stuff that is there. One, two. So now, this is my band. Okay. Four inches wide. Why the length is my waist measurement plus one inch. And I use a gum stayed light one. Okay, so now I'm going to be opening the back. I'm going to be, I'm going to be fixing the zipper at the back, so I'm going to open it to seven inches. Okay, as you can see, this is the back.
So this is the back. I've opened it, as you can see, with seven inches long. I've opened it. So now I'm going to be fixing my band around and I'm going to be fixing my zipper also. Oh, <laughs> 